how to connect custom domains to Netlify. Hi guys, welcome back to another video. And in today's video, I'm going to be telling you how you can go ahead and connect a custom domain to Netlify. So having said that, let's just jump into the video. So over here, as you can see, I'm over here on the website Netlify.com. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and sign up and i'm gonna go ahead and click on the sign up button over here since i don't have an account and i'm gonna go ahead and sign up with my email address you can sign up with github or gitlab even bitbucket as well but i'm gonna sign up with email and here we go so after verifying your email address just go ahead and type in your first name your last name how do you plan on using netlify what kind of sites you want to create and you should be good to go so i don't see a skip button so i don't think you can skip this let's go ahead and fill this out so I don't see a skip button so let's go ahead and fill this out and how do you plan on using it i want to use for personal use what kind of sites do you want to build first so let's say blog and i'll just go with team leader and you can go ahead and add your project name over here and then click on deploy and then click on deploy after naming it and deploy your first project you can go ahead and deploy it on github gitlab azure devs or bitbucket or you can get started other ways you can try netlify drops or choose a template so let's go ahead and choose a template so here we got a bunch of different templates to choose from let's go with this one right here and you can see we have a bunch of other ones as well but let's go with whatever you feel like uh, you can skip this as well but yeah so let's go with this one and click on github and now we got to clone this template to github it's asking us to sign in on to github so let me just go ahead and sign in verify myself and after verifying it you are good to go then just simply go ahead and click on authorize netlify and boom you are good to go so you can go ahead and set up your site you can see right here this is the site right here and this is going to be your repository name and this is how it looks like and down below this is going to be the public and then you can go ahead and click on deploy site and after that this is how it's going to look like so here you can see it's deploying in progress and you got your deploying settings over here you can cancel the deployment over here this is the deploy log you can see right here and down below this is the link right here but yeah and also make sure that you have a domain i already have one i am using hosting your domains right here so i got a couple of domains i'm going to be using this one so let's move on so coming back onto netlify you can see right here it's still doing its thing it's still deploying so it might take some time but other than that you can come over here onto the left hand side while that happens right let me just open this up so we can see it better here on the left hand side you can see you have domains if you click on domains here you can go ahead and add your domain so you can see right here uh deploy successfully it just deployed it you can go ahead and visit it by clicking on this button right here still in post processing and we should be good to go in a couple of seconds and we are good to go so product is so the website is loaded up we can go ahead and click on the preview button and here we go so it's loaded up but currently maybe it's not loaded up it is uploaded but i guess we need to go ahead and open up the project i guess there's nothing yet we do need to go ahead and add stuff to it but we can do this later we can go ahead and customize the site name deploy again view the deployments over here and build a plugin set up everything right so that's how we can do it now in order for us to go ahead and upload our connect our domain we can go ahead and come over here onto the left hand side and click on domain here you want to add a new domain so if you already have one you can go ahead and of course click on this you got to go ahead and add the dns records and activate netlify dns right it's going to be a little bit complicated but we'll get there you got to make sure that you have your domains over here i'm going to be using hosting your domains so what you want to do is you want to go ahead and click on manage and then click on dns names servers right here so once you've done that you should be good to go here you will see the dns records of every single website that is connected to your domain now what you want to do is you want to come back over here onto netlify and you want to click on your domain over here you got to add your domain so my domain is over here so i'll just go ahead and copy it and come back over here paste it and click on verify and we do need to add it over here different register select add domain right to begin the delegating it to netlify so let's go ahead and click on add domain so it's already as i said before it's already connected to another website so actually let me go ahead and click on reset the dns record that way it'll delete all the dns records and make it clean so now actually let me go ahead and click on it again actually try another one i accidentally went ahead let me reload 
all right coming back again paste the domain over here click on verify and give it a couple of seconds to load up and is a subdomains are already managed through okay so let me go ahead and click on domains and actually remove it so it's kind of already over here i haven't added it so let me go ahead and delete the dns zone type it in over here gotta go ahead and do with this again sorry about that so again click on add dns record paste it over here click on verify and now there we go so it's already registered and if you will register domain so let's go ahead and click on add domain there we go and add dns record optional no it is not optional we do need to add it so no dns record set up over here so click on add new dns record type a all right create a new dns record and value here you got to add in the value but usually we do this over here in this section but i guess we can do that over there as well no worries so here you can add dns records right but as you can see it also says that it's optional the dns records for your netlify site will be configured automatically if you click on continue you will see these are the domain servers right you got to go ahead and copy these domain name servers and then come back to dns records and here you want to go ahead and click on change dns servers change to dns service name and then just paste them one by one over here copy and paste and then finally one more copy and paste and this will add these records over here it's going to change the servers and you should be good to go so name service change click on close pointing to the hosting or that's fine and then click on done and you should be good to go you can add new records over here but for that you're going to have to add the records of your website over here which is going to be that and you should be good to go now it will take some time for you to go ahead and actually visit your website it takes a couple of hours sometime but we should be good to go so since we have changed the name servers and we are good to go if you want to delete them you can delete them over here if you want to add records you can add them over here but you should be good to go so this is how you do it this is how you can add custom domains to your netlify website so if you watch the video so far then you know now how this website works perfectly and how you can use it to make money online and how you can use it to start your own business online as well just make sure to do everything i did in the video in a step-by-step -step manner and you'll be good to go so having said that that is it for this video guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you have any questions or come across any problem whatsoever then let me know in the comment sections down below and i'll be sure to help you out in any way i can as soon as possible and also be sure to like this video subscribe to the channel and also turn on the bell notification as you'll get notifications every time we post a new video. Your support to the channel means a lot and also share this video with your friends and family members if they enjoy this type of content and would like to know how to make money online or just simply want to know how a particular software or website works. We post these types of videos daily so you don't have to worry about running out of content. You will get new content every single day so don't worry about it so having said that thank you guys for watching and i hope to see you guys in the next video and until next time take care and goodbye